Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. Did you know that your conduct is to be your primary form of witness to what God has done in your life? Um, the only Jesus that this world can see right now is how the believer behaves before them. And this is so important. Um, is God interfering with your personal life? Well, I hope he is because uh, we no longer belong to ourselves. When Christ died, he bought us with a price. If you are a child of God, if you're in Christ, then the Bible says you've been raised with him. We've been set apart and we're seated at the right, uh, with Christ, uh, as Christ is seated at the right hand of God. So we are not to focus on earthly things anymore. So does that scripture mean that uh, we have a license to live a reckless life because our minds would be set on the things above? Well, 1 Corinthians uh, 6 and verse 19 tells us that our body is a temple by the Holy Spirit. You're not your own, you've been bought with a price. So uh, our lives completely belong to Christ. So are we living uh, for Christ? Uh, we are living for ourselves. Well, as Christians, we've been bought with a price. And uh, God has called us to advance the gospel into the world. See, we are living in a very dysfunctional society with a very dysfunctional value system. It has cut all ties with commitment and honesty and devotion. Integrity today is a lost concept. But you know, uh, scripture tells us that everything that is happening right now in our world is a pathetic sign. Matthew 24, 12 says, this is what Jesus says, the love of many will grow cold. And that's what we're seeing in this world today. The quest for what we think is freedom and independence, you know, it's becoming a conflict with the Spirit of God leading us. Uh, Colossians 3 and verse 9 says, Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off the old self. See, we no longer belong to ourselves. The old self has been removed. And it says, with its practices. So these old habits, these things that we used to do, uh, we no longer do them before. And so verse 10 says, and how put on the new self. So uh, the Bible tells us that uh, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. And so that old self has been put off and we put on this new self, which is being renewed. What it says in verse 10 of Colossians, it says, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of his creator. So um, we put on this new self we have a new nature with godly knowledge. We're to learn and we want to know our Creator. We want to know uh, Jesus Christ. Um, so that old life wants to continue to uh, rule us because um, we're the flesh. The flesh wants to be desired, it wants to feel good. And um, we have put off the old self. We've put on the new self. So let me ask you a question. Is your home a place of refuge or is it a battlefield for the truth? Hopefully, my friend, if you're in Christ, it's a refuge. Uh, my friend, don't lie to yourself, please, and abandon God's uh, obedience and holiness. Uh, some people think that if, uh, by, because we have God's grace, that, that dismisses obedience and holiness, but that's not true. God has called us. Faithfulness is a requirement. And uh, being disobedient, uh, grace does not uh, cover that if we intentionally are disobedient. Uh, so uh, don't mistake that. Don't think that because of God's grace that we want to continue to live any kind of way that we want to. Because, uh, you know, when the Bible talks about us gaining this knowledge and learning, 
But one of the things that we learned, first of all, as we come to Christ, is that he died for our sins. And when someone has died for our sins the way Christ has, then what else can we give him but our love because he first loved us? So make no mistakes uh, about it. Um, either be obedient and holy uh, in Christ. So in the end of uh, this uh, lesson here in Colossians 3, 23, uh, what's the answer to all this? Well, the Bible says, whatever you do, do all in the name of the Lord. Let me ask you, is God interfering with your life or your personal life? Uh, do you think that because you have uh, accepted Christ in your life and you're going to heaven that you can live any kind of way? Uh, like I said earlier in the beginning of this lesson, your conduct your behavior is your primary witness for what God has done for you in your life. Please, I'm begging you that you would uh, don't have your minds conformed to the patterns of this world, but be renewed by the renewing of your mind, by the studying of God's word. Thank you, my friend. Uh, join us and uh, learn more uh, as we travel together on this uh, basic faith walk 101. I hope to see you soon. Bye.